Okay guys, so we're back with the Kia Sedona. This is the 07 Kia Sedona that had the fuse blow due to the windings in the clutch. It's starting to go. Oh. Today we're going to actually be replacing the compressor. So the system is already evacuated. Typically when I replace a compressor I will do the uh, orifice tube or the expansion valve and then also the accumulator and receiver dryer or whatever is applicable in that situation. Okay, so Since the compressor is not failing internally as far as the piston uh, or, or no metal shavings are in the system, it's not contaminated in that way, it is due to the electrical windings failing that we are replacing this. I'm not going to do the expansion valve or the desiccant. Uh, all right, uh, first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take off the belt while it's still on the ground. Uh, and on this vehicle, the compressor is in a lower area of the engine here, uh, lower right front of the engine. Uh, if you want, I can take you guys in. Cool, okay, I'll get my light. That guy all the way at the bottom, it's a compressor. All right. Okay, guys. In order to repli uh, to remove the serpentine belt on this, I used my little pry bar to remove the cap. And this guy right here. Oh boy. This guy right here is the tensioner pulley. It is a T50. Torx bit in order to uh, maneuver that pulley. So I got this. My Torx bit. Push. Let it swing back. And then I'll pull off the belt. Just to get it out of the way. This is a fairly new belt. A customer replaced not long ago. Now I'm gonna jack it up. Okay, I have the vehicle slightly jacked up. Uh, it's not in its permanent location yet. You see this panel underneath. Uh, they call this the dam, I suppose. An air dam. Uh, that's for the radiator and, and to help the cooling fan divert all the cooling air to the motor. So right now I have it on the jack, but I have a jack stand as a backup, as I never trust my hydraulic jack 100% anytime working under a vehicle. So before I put it permanently under the jack, or on the jack stand, I am going to remove this cover so I can place that jack stand in a better location uh, to serve my needs. The compressor is around this location here. So I just want to free up any space I have. And this is what I'll be doing. Okay, I now have the air dam removed. The bottom cover, it's all gone. And we have nice clear access to the compressor, which is right here. The lines are attached in the front by the radiator, and there should be four bolts holding it in place. We're good to go. I'm going to unplug it first. <laughs> Here's the horn. How about this guy? The cover. Just hanging around here. <laughs> About that, found that guy just floating around in here. Looks like it cracked right off. 
I'll let the customer know. I have no idea where the horn is at. I didn't see it. Check out what size we got going on here. 13 mil. Hmm. Let's try 12. 12. Well, it is. Got my goggles. Pocket hammer. I'm gonna break these loose I'm using a wrench and my hammer. Uh, lefty loosey, so we're gonna go this way. I make shift uh, impact. Just keep my fingers clear from the end that I'm hitting. <laughs> Broke those loose, and can't exactly get to the top ones with this setup, but I'll use a ratchet and a socket to get to the top. I'm going to break loose the hold down. Very important to have goggles on at this point. Uh, if you don't want that stuff getting into your eyes, you should be able to break it loose by hand. We'll see. If not, let me see. I can use leverage here. Two of these back to back. Break loose. Boom. Okay. Uh, got the connector out of the way. This out of the way. Got that loose. And I have one more on the top. That loose. The low side. <laughs> see, there's something on top now. Let's see. Let's from this side. Hmm. I'm going to hit the high side tubes. I'm going to use a ratchet. I'm going to have to use a deep socket and a ratchet set up for that to break that guy loose. And I'll back that up a little bit here because I know it's going to be under somewhat a little bit of pressure here because uh, it's the nature of the system. Even though it's evacuated, there's always going to be a little bit of a build up. Five, maybe PSI or so. here. Okay. I'll let that finish hissing out. Don't want to breathe those gases in. It's not much. Okay, finally stopped. Let's see here. Hmm. Should I take that wheel off? I have that one cover here. Am I gonna be able to see? Snitch. I'm gonna try to go in between this radiator area here. Come up, come up. This radiator. Real well. Hmm. Can't do that. Let's go this side. I'm gonna do it from this side. Try to get this storm connector out of the way.
millimeter. I'm gonna break the others loose now. I don't know if my shorty here, my shallow socket. Oh, looks like it's gonna work. Good. Break that loose. I'm gonna break this other guy loose. And uh, visual comparison, they seem to be the same. I always double check my parts before going ahead and removing anything because it's painted behind to put something back. Let's see. Break this guy loose. And now I can take my ratchet and drive them out. Gotta be careful here, you only have so much room between the frame and the bolt. You don't want to get your ratchet stuck on there, especially if the ratchet head is going to be covered. You can't switch it back the other way. Alright, as far as I can go on there, uh, this guy can pull all the way off. And then how about this guy? That can pull somewhat off. Nope. So that's something to keep in mind when we put the new compressor in. This guy has got to be already in its location. And let's go back up to the top. Let's see here. This guy's not going to fit. Can't use power. Uh -huh. so we'll use this guy. A little fearless. I love it. Okay. And I can't fit with my watch on. Take this off. My hands are skinny enough at least to get in there though. Otherwise, it's the perks of uh, being a female mechanic. Small hands, tight vehicles, equals good. All right, this guy. Go ahead and start this a little bit here. It'll help catch the compressor. And get some of the weight off for me. And this guy. Let's get over. Come on, fella. get them started. Uh, they are the same size, so that's cool, that's good. All three, same size. The last one, I'm going to undo the lines first. pressure. Not for the high side. Back that up. And let me see. Get this up and out of my way. Yeah. I don't want to get any grease and dirt on the end of that. It's the last thing you want in the AC system. And the high side. I mean the low side. Same size. Nuts. All right. They're out. They're hanging. I would like to use a bungee cord just to keep the grime from going in. Let's see. I'm gonna tighten or pull it that way a bit here. Can I? Oh, 
your bum. All right, this guy. I know it's gonna be a little heavy here. Oh yeah. Okay. It's on. Oh, cool. These have little bushings that it sits on to help line everything up. That's cool. That's good. Come on, AC line, get out of the way. Well, okay, see? Exactly what I didn't want to happen. And I'm gonna clean this up, not too long, and I'm gonna grab the other compressor. Apparently, I'm gonna have to transfer over the studs to the new compressor, and I'll change this battery. This compressor, uh, according to the tape here, is already pre-filled with three ounces of oil. So, I'm gonna leave that alone. I don't know, it looks like a rebuilt, not new. Okay. Either way, it's going in. Uh, these have little covers on the port to keep the debris and, and such from coming out, and also keep the oil in. Now, I have to transfer the studs uh, for the hold down here from the old compressor to the new compressor. Uh, we're gonna do that in one second. I might have to back you guys up a bit. I have some nitrile gloves I'm going to put over my latex. Uh, nitrile is more resistant to certain fluids, oils, than the latex. I can't remember if the um, PAG oil will affect latex, swell it up, so I'm just going to use these. I'm going to turn them inside out. Weird. Okay. Got the old compressor, and these are the studs. One thing I want to see is if this pulley Ah, okay. So this pulley's got a little more play in it. Uh, connectors are the same. Oh, this has fur or something in it. Weird. Same connector. Hmm. That's supposed to be a ground wire, so one of the things I'm going to do is take this off. I'm going to transfer this bracket over, and I'm going to rough up and make sure we have good contact on the metal. If it's a ground, you want good contact. Uh, I'm going to grab my E Torx bits. Uh, they're external. So you want to use a Torx bit, it's an external, I'll show you. Alright, in here we have, these are the regular Torx, well, security type feature. Um, but in the same container, I know I have my externals. I wish I had a rail for the external torques like I do for my regular torques. And I don't know if you can see that. Let's see here. External. So it's a socket that fits over a stud. And that's an extremely big one. 
just to get an idea. Very common on stud. If I'm lucky, I'll be able to bite off the ends here with some shadow locks. I don't know. Now I'm gonna check one more place. I have six point sockets. Five. Yeah. Sometimes I can get away with this. And I have a little breaker bar. One quarter. Put back in here. Okay, here's my quarter. Breaking anything loose, it's nice to have a breaker bar. It's gonna slip. Here, feel it. Maybe I'm looking, I can use a five. Ground all the way on. Let's see. Turn it this way because I have a little more leverage. There we go. Good. So I'm going to work it back and forth, clean the threads up, as you might have seen in previous videos. I'm on this coming. Alright, while this is still attached, I'm going to bang on this up. Arm squirrels, man, I'll tell you. Come on, buddy. Coming. Here it goes. All right, get it on this guy. As Erico says, every tool has a hammer side. That's good enough on there. I want to have it deep enough to where it has something to grab. I'm doing it again. Uh, let me turn it just a little bit here. More leverage again. All right. There we go. Oh, yes. I thought I was going to be in trouble again. All right. There's always something. Every vehicle has an issue. Every. As you can see, it gets tighter. I might have over tightened to where that uh, base, where that ball, where the stop is. I'll show you. If you go too tight, this area right here where the thread stop will then hurt the threads that it's going into. Oh, good. Go ahead and uh, get this socket off again. That guy back. Hmm. There we go. Vibration definitely helps break things loose. All right. Shake. And I'm gonna put it in these threads. Uh, even before I break off the 
protecting cat. Oh, come on, buddy. I got the shakes. I'm hungry. I didn't eat enough before I left the house. Alright. Now I'm going to do these the rest of the way. Pretty sure it's exactly as I was stating. Um, reds, where that joint is, over tightening will ruin that top thread right there. Mhm. Mm this cap's not gonna allow it to come off. Oh, geez, so something. Break that little ear off. Put them right in front of me. There we go. Oh, before exposing anything here. I like that. Let's try this again. I'm not be sure we're going in straight. We have to realize that there's paint in that hole. To go back to the five and a half millimeter socket here and go ahead and drive that stud in. Now that I'm not twerking it down, there should be enough to drive it in all the way, as you can see. Easy peasy. And pretty much stop right there. So I go a little bit more, finger tight, good. Do the same with this guy. that in. That started with my fingers. And I'll just drive it the rest of the way. Bracket over. See that? I'll pull you guys up a little bit here. Just a smidge. Alright. And it broke loose. Phillips, um, so bracket. There's a little uh, titty, I guess you want to say. Holding this in, and it just slides back. Just has to work its way over that little titty right here. I'll show you again. This hole right here, there's a little titty that sticks out, a little bump that sticks out, and it's secured by that hole. And all you gotta do is lift up a little bit here in between this side and push it back. Uh, just careful not to break the bracket because I'm pretty sure. Oh, never mind, that's a connector, it's plastic. The bracket's metal. Continue working it back. Yeah, all just slides right out. Come on, go for the back. Come on, buddy. There you go. Boom. No problem. Now it's out. So I'm gonna attach this. Ground. Center this a bit. Kind of like this setup better. This has a 
hex screw, screw head. Definitely like that better. Okay, we're gonna go this way, this way. That's right, because the connector's gonna come in from this side, and this side is the engine over here. Ooh, I got you out. Okay, so, this is gonna go on here like this. This little case right here. And... Oh yeah, out of the city. Hopefully, it doesn't hurt the people on headphones. <laughs> I apologize now. Alright, I'm gonna use my mini breaker bar again. Break it loose. Okay, lock washer. Bolt. I like that. Ground wire. Okay, it looks like there is. It's nice and clean underneath. But yeah, I'm gonna spray some of my uh, gel loop. Prevent any kind of corrosion and rust, and I think it's aluminum anyway. Corrosion between two different metals. Okay, good. This guy on. Definitely on there. And it doesn't have to be very tight. Lock washer is doing its job. Alright, I'm going to set this guy on here. I'm going to set it on here. Ooh. I don't like the way this one looks. Zoom you guys in. So I already have some copper exposed right here. I don't like. I'm not crazy about that. I'm gonna go ahead and use some uh, wet tape on that electrical tape. Spread it on. Okay, and here's your le uh, the electric uh, liquid tape. So hopefully, I'm gonna let this cure before putting it in. Put it all over on the back here. Close that up. I don't know if you can see that, but I see a little bit of copper exposed still, so I'll go from this side. Alright, 
sure it's pretty fast. Uh, you can see it's got a coat on it already. Now this, I'm going to go ahead and break this loose. 13. Oh. It. Oh, goodness, I'm gonna turn it. Now I want to cycle the clutch just to be sure that everything is free and moving, but it's good to take these uh, caps off because it produces compression and you kind of don't want that when you have the caps on because it'll suck one side and push the other. Sucking on this side already. Here we go. This two? A little bit. Okay. Yeah. Set this down. Set this down. Hope we get the paint off of it. And hold this up. Ew. Mm. This is good, it's tight. I'm going to use a socket here, I think it's a 10 millimeter clutch bolt. See if we can hold it. Too many crickets. Huh. Okay, good. That spins. See, this is why we check it. Good amount of compression there. Alright. Oh, so much compression I thought it was going to be frozen. I do see oil in there, so we're good there. Alright, I'm going to put the caps back on. Hopefully you have these on until you get it up in there to keep stuff out. I'm gonna go put it on the vehicle. So we're gonna check the pulley. The auto part, which feels good. Feels like new bearings on that. 